So to be right, Baron check raises. I'm shook. This hand, I'm shook. This hand's crazy. <laughs> I think Odie Bear and Baron thought he's playing Potlum in Omaha here. I'm dead serious. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to see in this video, I do not recommend you try at home. The plays in this video are completely out of line, and there's a great chance the players in this video are on some type of drug. The first hand we're going to see is quite possibly one of the most ridiculous hands I've seen in this year. Did I phrase that right? In this year? In this year. Let's roll with that. In today's video, we are going to review the current state of High Stakes Moment Hold'em online. And we're going to figure out, is OTB Red Baron still a Texas Hold'em Poker God? The answer is going to be yes. Yes, he's still a Texas Hold'em Poker God. I can't waste any more time. These hands are out of line. The Nolan Hold'em hat's on. Let's get into the action. All right, my friends, let's get into the action here. And this hand right here is uh, it's ridiculous. That's all I can say. So it starts off 5,100, heads up Nolan Hold'em between two of the best players in the world, OTB Red Baron, an end boss for a very long time, and L Linus Love, who I think is fucking insane. So he raises up the button to 252. OTB Red Baron, three bets to 1,038, and Linus Love's gonna call. Now on here, the hands will reveal themselves at the end of the hand, play along at home with me, and try to figure out what these psychopaths have. Flop comes down, ace, king, queen, rainbow. A, uh, a good flop for the three better here. OTB Red Baron's gonna check. Linus Love's gonna go ahead, bet 858 into 2,000 less than half pot. OTB Red Baron's gonna check call, all right. River, two of hearts. OTB Red Baron's gonna check. Linus Love's gonna bet again, 2,271 into 3,700. And now OTB Red Baron gets frisky and makes a little check raise to 5,700. Now, what do we think he might have here? Something like aces, jack jack 10, any type of two pair combination that he decided not to see bet on the flop. Now, obviously we got to remember that these players have a, a deep dynamic, a very intense dynamic. I'm sure there's a lot of ridiculous bluffing going on, which there is a lot of ridiculous bluffing going on, which you're going to see from this video. So, I mean, we can't really quite understand what's going on between these two players. So uh, these hands are going to have different contexts for us watch them at home compared to the two players while they're in the moment. We hear a lot of talk about solver strategy and what the solver says to do. And I do not believe the solver says to do any of the plays we're going to see in this video. There is not a fucking chance the solver says to do what OT Beard Baron did right here. Right, if, if it is, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm just done. I'm done with solvers, okay? I'm fucking done. So OTB Red Baron check raises. I'm shook. This hand, I'm shook. This hand's crazy. <laughs> I think OTB Red Baron thought he's playing Potlum in Omaha here. I'm dead serious. So OTB Red Baron check raises. Linus Love's going to go ahead. He's going to make the call. River comes down the king. All right. Backdoor flush draw misses. Backdoor Bangkok does not come in there. King of spades on the river. OTB Red Baron checks. Linus Love puts them all in. For about 4,700 in a pot of 15,000. OTB Red Baron calls. He's got fucking pocket tens. So let's go over this hand real quick. So Linus Love has the four five. I've never, I don't know, man. I don't know. Somebody explain, honestly. Just, that's is why I made the video and then I found more ridiculous hands. I just need someone out there to tell me what's going on here. This is what the solver says? Is this what? I tried to call them up. I've down. $25 million calling down with pocket tens on a board of ace, king, queen. I just am. So, OTB Red Baron, three bets pre-flop, check calls the flop with the gutter and the blockers to jack 10. I mean, okay. Uh, Linus Love decides to go ahead and bet the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw on the flop. Why not? Reverse blockers to straight. Why not? So, he goes ahead and bets. Turn. He turns the best card for him, debatably, with the two of hearts. Turns that straight draw and the flush draw. He gets check raised by OTB Red Baron. And he calls. The river's the king. The full house gets there. And then OTB Baron check calls. I mean, he beats a flush draw. That's true. He beats a flush draw. If Linus Love decides to... Could have Queen Jack. Doesn't beat that. Okay. Might have 7-8 of hearts. Beats 7-8 of hearts. That's true. There's a great chance Linus Love might have 2-3. Beats 2-3. Am I missing? I gotta be missing. Hold on a second. I gotta be seeing this wrong. Let me make sure I saw this right. Alright, so he 3-bets. He calls. 
check calls with 10s. I got it. Blockers. Maybe he thought he had Jack 10. There's a great chance he thought he had Jack 10. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Checks. He bets 20. Do I mean, check raises small? What the? Why? Does... I mean, maybe he does have... Maybe he thought he had Jack 10. I'm dead serious. I think that O2 Red Baron thought he had Jack 10 here. Calls. I mean, Linus has got a call. Small check raise. Hmm. River. Does he have to bluff the river? Seems like an awful bluff by him, too. I mean, if the guy's not falling pocket down, that seems like a really bad bluff to me. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, for fuck's sakes. And they say pot limit Omaha is crazy. Do, is that what they say? Next hand. Let's move on. All right, this hand, one more time. We have OT Beard Baron versus Linus Love. OT Beard Baron raises it up on the button. Linus Love, and I actually don't know what order these hands are, and so this is going to be a surprise to me, too. Let's play along at home. Why not? All right, so Linus Love, three bets. OT Beard Baron calls. They're about $10,000. The flop comes down, ace, three, six, rainbow. Linus Love's going to see bet the, uh, I f man, the quarter pot bet. I'm so happy this hasn't quite broken into Potlum and Omaha yet, because the quarter pot bet would tilt the fuck out of me if I'm playing two-card Potlum and Omaha here. He bets 534. OT Beard Baron attacks that little bet. Makes it 1996. And now we've seen these two are literally capable of any two cards. There's a chance OT Beard Baron has three four offs to raise for value, guys. Trying to get value from the King 8 or something like that. Linus Love re-raises. <laughs> Linus Love raises 34. Once again, might even have had like a 6-7. Maybe has had like a 6-8. Something like that. Going for some nice uh, value from the 3-4. OT Beard Baron calls. Turn comes down, king of clubs, ace, king, six, three, pots, 9,000. Linus has about 7,000 left. He shoves all in. So if you're OT Beard Baron, you're probably going to fold all your threes here. If you have a six, there's a good chance you're going to fold your six. You got an ace, which is certainly the most likely possibility here. You're probably going to call off with your ace. OT Beard Baron might have a hand like a king, queen, maybe that backdoor spade, backdoor straight draw on the flop, and, and now he turns the pair. I mean, he probably can't fold the pair. And in terms of Linus Love, what could he have? So he bet the small bet. Min, re Min raise back and then goes all in here. He's saying he's got a strong hand, isn't he? Isn't he? OT Baron, go make the call. Linus Love shows down Jack 10 of spades. And OT Baron has a check off seal. So let's go over this real quick, guys. So Jack 10 of spades. Flop comes down A6 3. Linus Love 3 bets. C bets flop. Re raises flop. Maybe he thought he had aces. I mean, he does have a backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. And in terms of what cards you're looking for when you make this play, I mean, of course, OT Beard Baron, like I said, he might be raising that three for value on the flop. Probably folds the three here on the turn. I'll be honest with you. I think he's going to fold that three. OT Beard might have some straight draws here, gutters too as well. Going to be folding those hands on this turn, I believe. Okay, see the river? Rivers the Jack, and OT Beard Baron takes down. Actually, they ran this twice. And I believe that if you look right here, they did run it twice. And the second river was the Queen. So, that, so Linus Love actually chopped this hand. So you gotta remember, when you run it twice, there's a great possibility that you're gonna end up chopping that Queen of Diamonds right here in the middle here. All right, next hand here, 2550 between Linus Love and OT Beard Baron, about $6,000 deep. OT Beard Baron makes the small, just above min raise on the button here. Linus Love, three bets to 500. OT Beard Baron goes and makes the call. Flops comes down, ace, nine, six, two clubs. Linus Love once again goes to that quarter pot size bet. OT Beard Baron goes and calls. Turns and be the two of clubs, so the flush does get there. Obviously, there's, uh, their range is going to be super wide here. Linus Love checks. OT Beard Baron checks back as well. River is the fourth club, jack of clubs here. Obviously, now any club is going to win. This is not the great game of Potman Omaha, where if you have one club in your hand, you have a flush. This is two card Potman Omaha to remind you guys of the rules here. One caught club in your hand equals flush. <laughs> Linus Love's going to go ahead and make a pot size bet here. OG Beard Baron's going to raise here to 3,754. So Linus Love pots here, saying he's got a flush, it looks like to me. OG Beard Baron says, fuck you, I got a higher flush than you. He raises. Linus Love puts them all in for 1,500, basically telling him, I got the nut flush. I trapped you. I got you. Bang, bang. Ship the money. OT Bear Baron reluctantly goes ahead and calls. Linus Love has the 5-4 hearts. 
OTP Air Baron has the King High Flush, second Nut Flush. So, so Lion Slough three bets pre flop, flops the back door straight draw, back door flush draw, goes ahead and C bets that one quarter pot. Turn the two, check, check, river, fourth club. He's got 5-4 here. I mean, he has one of the worst hands possible. And by one of the worst hands possible, I mean he has the second worst hand possible, I believe. Second worst hand possible. Hot size bet. Think so, too, Beaver Baron's full of shit. How do you ever fold to a guy like that? I'm not. I love this guy. This guy's got so much heart, man. Linus Love. So much heart. Like I said at the beginning, do not try these plays at home, guys. I do not recommend trying these at home. Let's get to the next hand. Next hand, 5,100. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what's in store here. This is an anti-table. Linus Love raises it to 52. Gets three bet by OT Beard Baron to 1,100. He's going to go ahead and make that call. They're about $11,000 deep at this point in time on the flop. Flop comes down. King, Queen, 10. Two clubs. OT Beard Baron checks. Linus Love checks as well. Turns the three of diamonds. Two flush draws out there as well. OT Beard Baron goes ahead, bets 1,597 and 2,200. Linus Love's going to go ahead and make that call. What do you think they have in this situation? We've seen OT Beard Baron capable of anything. Maybe he's got a three of it. For, he's betting for value right here. Once again, like a hand like a 3-4. Obviously, he's going to be able to have all the one pair hands in his range here. Uh, maybe some slow played straights. 7-8. I mean, honestly, any, four, any two cards I believe he could have. And Linus Love, I think he's capable of having any two cards here too. River's the queen of clubs. Kind of interesting river here. The immediate flush does get there. OT Baird Baron's going to check. Linus Love's going to shove all in. Okay. <laughs> so, wait a second. All right. So, Linus Love is saying he has... I mean, I think he could have a queen here for value, too. He could just... He might have had a hand like a queen eight, queen seven, queen nine, some type of queen. They decided not to bet on the flop, and now he made trip queens, going for that maximum value here on the river. Um, chance he could have a flush as well, too. They decided not to bet on the flop. In terms of OT Beard Baron, what kind of hands could he have here that he might check call with? Could have some slow played flushes as well. Potentially a slow played full house, but um, I think he probably would have bet that on the flop. But not always. Might not once again, might hero call with the 3-4 here. Wouldn't be surprised to see him hero call with the 3-4. Trying to um, trying to pick off some type of Miss Diamonds or a, a Jack or 7-8. <laughs> oh dear, we're in calls and uh, Linus Love's got the 3 4. He actually had the 3 4. Are you kidding me? He actually had the 3 4. So he's got the 3 4. What do we think OT Beard Baron has here? Do you think 3 4 wins? There's a chance 3 4 honestly wins here. So Elman actually had 3 4. I'm happy. I was, I'm, I'm happy someone had 3 4. I didn't look at the hands here in this situation, so I don't actually know if OT Beard Baron wins this hand. King 6. Of course he's got King fucking 6. Why wouldn't he? So king six, three bets pre-flop. Why wouldn't he? So let me get this straight. So flop, check, check. Turn. Bet call by the three, four. So OG Beard Baron bets the turn. Linus Love calls the three, four. Rivers the queen. And now Linus Love decides to turn three, four into a bluff to try to get him to fold a hand like king six. But if he's not folding a hand like king six, I mean, listen, sometimes maybe he calls with ace high. Maybe he calls with a with well ace three beats him, never mind. Maybe he calls with ace X of diamonds for ace high sometimes. And three four gets max value. Maybe he folds a ten. No idea. Caught more hands here, guys. Alright, now this hand is at 2550, full ring, and my man Dino Supremo's in this game. Dino Supremo long time, regular. Uh, at mid stakes, but it had some success at tournaments this summer, and he appears to be battling hard at the higher stakes for most of this year. So he raises under the gun to 110. Flying Smile is going to go ahead and call on the button. Flying Smile, I've seen around for a very long time as well, too. Zuruba NT, three bets from the small blind, 600. Dino calls, Flying Smile calls. Flop comes down, King 9 6 Rainbow. Obviously, when your opponent three bets in the small blind versus the gun open in a button call, usually going to be a very strong hand. He bets 375 into 1850. This is going to bet, honestly, I want to punch him in the fucking face if they bet 375 and 1850. Maybe that's why you should bet 375 and 1850. Dino's Primo calls. Flying Smile Min Race. <laughs> is this Nolan Holdem these days? This is crazy. This is not how they play on live with the mic. I've not, I mean, maybe it. I, I don't know. 
Uh, Dino calls. Turns to three of spades. So they're about $6,000 behind. Pot's 3700 Dino checks. Flying Smile bets 1800 So if you're in Flying Smile's position, what do we think he has here? Maybe some type of set. Maybe some type uh, of, of a 7-8 type hand. Maybe... I mean, would he min-raise with 7-8? I don't fucking think so. King-9. Calling another nine sixes, maybe some slow play pocket kings, but would he really raise those on the flop? Maybe ace king trying to get value from a worse king potentially here. Once again, we don't know what Dino's under the gun range is going to be, but I assume it's relatively tight. With Zaruba folding the small blind. Whatever, I'm done. Dino Supremo check calls, rivers the deuce of hearts. Dino checks, flying smile shoves all in for 4,000. Dino calls. Flying Smile's got four or five of clubs. Dino's got pocket aces. So that actually makes sense. Under the gun range with the aces, four or five of clubs on the flop. He's got the backdoor, backdoor nut straight draw, and he's got the backdoor club draw. He also has the power of position. I mean, he, is, he played it like a set. He definitely played it like a set. I'm going to be honest with you. He played it like a set. I think I fold Dino's hand in this situation. Played it like a set. $16,000 pot goes. Flying Smiles way. You know what, guys? I got some more hands on here, but I think I might need to save that for another video because these hands are fast and furious. I want to keep this video under 20 minutes because uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. This game scares the fuck out of me. Two card pot, let me know my scary game. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you'd make plays differently. Let me know if you learned anything at home. And stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow. Podcasting on Wednesday with my girl, Ebony Kenny. Podcasting on Thursday with podcast legend favorite Dankness. That's it. Peace out. Much love. Take care. See you later.